Hello everybody, it's Coffee Morning with Carlos Morale, where I play a game based upon top secret criteria whilst drinking my morning coffee until my cup is dry. And today we're going to be playing the Woven Pre-Alpha Demo, which is an adventure game, uh, the casual point-and-click indie style, developed by Alter Ego Games. There's a case to say that being overly critical of a demo especially a pre-alpha demo, is much like punching a child for wanting to be an astronaut. Having lofty ambitions is cool. That's how you get places. I, for one, still harbour hopes of crushing my enemies, seeing them driven before me, and hearing the lamentations of their women. You can't take that away from me. So let's take a friendly and supportive look at Woven's demo then, and uh, dream about what might be when the game comes to fruition, currently scheduled for October 2017. Alter Ego Games did have a Kickstarter for this title, but as is often the case with promising games, it failed to reach its funding goal despite getting some interest. So what we have here then is the adventures of Stuffy, nominally a stuffed elephant but with completely interchangeable parts, and Glitch, his little flying buddy. They find themselves in a patchwork land somewhat reminiscent of Little Big Planet, and then a point and click adventure begins wherein you must travel around meeting new characters, scanning them, and then making use of their abilities by swapping out your body parts with theirs. This is less unpleasant than it sounds, since everyone is made of knitting patterns rather than flesh and juices. Some puzzles require different patterns on your body in order to solve too, so not only are the parts you choose relevant, but also the material you Darkness use to construct and metal, them. And the danger come to be. He was Glitch, left broken and bent. He'd been carried away far, and all his energy spent. The game has a charming voiceover narration in the form of a children's storybook style rhyme, which mitigates somewhat the fact that the characters currently lack much in the way of character themselves. Indeed, in this post Five Nights at Freddy's world, there is something a little creepy about the dead eyed, bulbous headed animals that you meet in the world as it currently stands. Although, possibly that's just me suffering from post traumatic stress. The most interesting aspect looking ahead to the rest of the game will be how the crossover between Stuffy's fabric world and the industrial world of Glitch is handled. Will we see increasing amounts of harsh metallic objects begin to distort the landscape? Who is the red-eyed antagonist in the opening cutscene who seems to reject poor little Glitch? More importantly, how many options and approaches will the game have to dealing with its puzzles? How will it challenge us beyond the you need to jump so use rabbit legs, now you need to dig so use mole claws or whatever? Hopefully, there will be plenty of depth to the system, but that remains to be seen. Certainly, this early build shows some promise, and I hope to cover the final version of the game next year and celebrate the realisation of a dream, rather than slap around yet another half-baked, kick-started child failure whose ambition overreached its talent. Thanks very much for watching today's video on Woven's pre-alpha demo. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please do not hesitate to like and share the video somewhere else since that brings us all great joy. And we look forward to seeing you again next time.